crews have been working tirelessly to clean up the roads, turn on power, and try to keep people safe. Duke Energy's Caroline Fountain joining us this morning to uh, talk about all the work that the power company has been doing, what they're doing now. Caroline, first of all, it's good to see you this morning. You're in the Steel Creek area. What, what's the latest? What do folks need to know? Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. So right now we have more than 7,500 crews throughout the Carolinas here in order to restore power as safely and as quickly as possible. Right now, if you go to our Duke Energy outage map, you will see widespread outages, but they're not all over the place. They are somewhat scattered. So if you want to see where the outages are, if you want to sign up for our outage alerts, that would be a great way to see what's happening in your area. And you can do that on our website. If you happen to have an outage in your area, you can also call 1-800-POWER-ON to let us know and to report that outage. And as far as what people need to know, if they're dealing with a power outage or they have a loved one who's dealing with it, uh, one thing that we've been talking about is with the winds too strong, you guys can't get the lifts out there to repair these things. So the best thing for people to do is to sit tight. You know there's an outage. They're going to get to you when it's safe. Absolutely. So our crews have been working around the clock. They've been working overnight. They've been working this morning. And so one thing that's important is that they're out here in the rain, right? Just like we are right now. Uh, but you mentioned something very important. Yes, they cannot go up in the bucket trucks when it's 30 plus miles per hour. So, you know, with uh, Tropical Storm Debbie, we're looking at possibly uh, higher gusts than that. So we, we, number one, have to be careful and make sure that our crews are safe as they put on the power for our customers. So really at this point, I would encourage folks to look at the outage map, keep updated, and as well as, as um, making sure that they have emergency equipment, you know, if their power does go out, having that extra bottled water, canned food, um, making sure that their, their phones are fully charged just so that they can get in touch with those um, around them if they need to. And uh, Caroline, we've talked with you guys before. The uh, the technology that has come out in the last couple of years, really the self-healing technology that makes restoring power much quicker than it used to be even five, 10 years ago. Yes, it is an amazing technology. So essentially how it works is that if there's an issue in one area, what the system does, it, it identifies that, and then it can reroute power for other customers to get them back online within seconds. So just think of it as a GPS on your phone, in your car. So if there is an issue um, on the road, it will take you an alternate route and you'll be able to get back on the road and get back on your way. And Caroline, one last question for you. Is to, we know you're in the Steel Creek area. What were the conditions like on the roadways? We've been getting a lot of reports of accidents, people hydroplaning. Just conditions-wise, I know we're asking to do a little bit of reporting here for us, but what were the conditions like as you're getting out there this morning? So I'm actually headed out to meet some of our crews who are restoring power, who are working on lines this morning. Um, I am in the Steel Creek area, and as you can tell, uh, it is uh, pouring out here. Some of the roads are starting to get flooded. So, of course, for myself and for those who are on the road, we want to make sure that we're not driving through any uh, flooded waters or flooded roads because, of course, um, as, as the saying says, uh, turn around, don't drown. 